Morning everyone. I have something a little bit special for you today. One of my three favourite books um, that I bought on my travels around the world. This is one of the variations of the three little pigs that I have because why would we always read the same thing? So just when you think you've read it before, let me surprise you. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs who went out into the world to seek their fortune. The first little pig decided to build a house, and he built it out of straw. Along came a wolf who knocked at the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. And the pig answered, Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. And the wolf said, Well then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. So the wolf huffed and he puffed and he blew the house in. Hey, he blew me right out of the story. And ate the pig up. Now the second little pig built his house out of sticks. Along came the wolf who knocked at the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. And this pig answered, Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. The wolf said, well, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. See what's happening down here? Come on, it's safe out here. Hmm, it's a bit weird they're outside the story. So the wolf huffed and puffed and he blew the house in and ate the pig up. Hmm, he looks a bit confused. This is interesting, what's going on here? The third little pig built his house of bricks. You see here, part of the story, but we can't quite read it. Hmm. We got away from that wolf for good. Wow. Why didn't you two get eaten up? We now have room to move. Watch this. Whoops. What is happening to the pages? Let's explore this place. Okay, just let me fold this up. Whee! Can you see what they're flying on? It's pages of the book. Oops! Uh-oh! Oof. Hey, over here. Wait, what's that? I think someone's out there. Come help us with this. Hey, diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport and the dish ran away with the spoon. Let's get out of here. Can you see they've walked in to a nursery rhyme? Phew, where to go? How about in here? Oops, this one, come on. All the pages of all these different books. Hold still. High on a hill lived a great dragon who stood guard over a rose made of the purest gold. The king was de determined to own his own treasure, so he sent his eldest son to slay the dragon and bring back the golden rose. Come with us, hurry. The prince spurred his steed to the mountaintop, drew his sword and slay the mighty dragon. But did he? Looks like he's come out of the story. Many thanks for rescuing me, O oh brave and noble swine. Don't mention it. Hey, diddle, diddle. Look, who's here? Welcome. Looks like they're all coming out of the box. Find something? What is this? Now what?
It's my place. Notice the brickwork. I did it myself. A fine castle, methinks. Yes, it's very nice. You know what? Let's go home. Good idea. Good idea. We just have to pack these up. Let's see there. Slowly putting it back together. Along came a wolf who knocked at the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. And the pig answered, Not by the hair of my Jinny Jin Chin. The wolf said, Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. The wolf huffed and he, oh, no matter how, oh, could not blow. Wonder why. That's, okay, that's enough. Come inside, everyone. Soup's on. I think we're going to like it here. I wonder what the soup is made of. And they all lived happily ever after with their big friend, the dragon. Hope you enjoyed that one, guys. Have a wonderful day.